Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today, we got a freak out because they just cast the new Supergirl for the DCEU, so super excited to talk about this, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC or DC TV videos in the future. But yeah, time to freak out guys, they've made it official, Supergirl is coming to the films. And so the report comes from Deadline who broke the breaking news that the DC Universe is getting a Supergirl and this new Supergirl is going to be played by Sasha Calais. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right, correct me in the comments down below if I'm saying it wrong, I apologise if I am. But nevertheless, I'm super excited to talk about this, especially because she's going to be showing up in the Flash film. And so this is a Supergirl and Flash crossover, and obviously on DC TV in the Arrowverse, that is the best crossovers that they do. And so I think that the DCEU are really going to cash in on what DC TV has done. Considering how popular these two characters are, I would say arguably they are the two biggest characters who aren't Superman, Batman or Wonder Woman because of their success in the Arrowverse. So I think, you know, we definitely have to thank Melissa, Grant and all the people behind the shows making The Flash and Supergirl such fan favourites that literally they are making them cross over in the films as well. So yeah, that's me freaking out. I'm super excited and I'm super excited that they're not going for just someone that looks like Melissa. They're going for someone new. They're going for whoever the best person was for the role. And I'm super excited to see Sasha's take on Supergirl. Obviously, we all knew that Melissa wasn't going to come back as Supergirl, and that's fine. I mean, I kind of accepted that a long time ago, because they've been talking about bringing Supergirl into the DCEU for a long time. And so, I was already set, no, it's not going to be Melissa, because she's literally stepping away from Supergirl on the CW to venture into new things. Like what she's literally just signed up for with Warner Brothers TV, where she's going to be stepping into a producer role, producing and show running shows, which is super exciting. And obviously people are going to say, oh, this is the reason why Supergirl is ending. No, it's not, because Melissa chose to end the show because she's got a whole number of reasons. And she's been doing it for a long time, like six plus years. That is a long time. And she's still going to be around for a while until August. She's literally filming for like over half the year in Vancouver. So she's always busy. She wants to spend her time with her family. She just had a child and she wants to step into some other stuff more creative behind the scenes stuff which we just saw with her Warner Brothers deal. So I thought I would just clarify that first because I know a lot of people are going to be questioning oh is this the reason for this? Well that is not the reason. So let's go ahead and go into the article that literally just announced that she's going to be the new Supergirl. So it's an exclusive to Deadline you can go check out the article in the description below but it says the young and the restless daytime Emmy nominee Sasha Calais has scored the feature role of the DC Universe's new Supergirl. And so you have to take into account, they say, the feature role. That means she's going to be playing a big role in the Flash film, which is really exciting. We'll get more into that in a minute. The Colombian-born actress is the first Latina Supergirl ever in DC and was chosen more than 425 actresses who auditioned. She will make her debut in Warner Brothers' new film, The Flash, which is currently filming or is set to start filming, literally right now. The Flash director, Andy Muschietti, watched all the auditions and I hear along with DC Films boss Walter Hamada and the producers was blown away by the actress's toughness and vulnerability that she brought to the role. I saw more than 400 auditions, Muschietti says. The talent pool was truly amazing, it was very hard to make a decision but we finally found an actress who was destined to play this role. The actress wasn't informed of the role that they were reading for until very late in the process, therefore that could mean maybe they were undecided if it would be Supergirl or not or they just wanted to keep it under wraps and obviously they wanted to make a big announcement and be like, yes, this is the new Supergirl, get hyped for this. And so obviously they did their meetings and stuff. And so the article concludes with this. In the DC media canon, Supergirl was first played by Helen Slater in 1984's Warner Brothers film Supergirl and later by Melissa Benoist on Warner Brothers TV series for 126 episodes and counting. Because obviously Supergirl is in its final season right now and Melissa is the main Supergirl, and obviously we're not going to think of Supergirl and not think of Melissa, because after all she is the definitive Supergirl and she's synonymous with the character, and even in the comics, 
they've changed the storylines, they followed stuff that they've done on the Supergirl show, they've changed the looks of Supergirl, and they've introduced like Kara's parents from the show, actually played by Helen Slater. So you can see that she is heavily influential, and when people think of Supergirl, they think of her. And so I think it's a really good idea that they didn't go for someone who looks like Melissa, because I think that would have got backlash. But the fact that they're going for someone who is completely different, and they are a new actor, we don't know much about her, she's obviously starred in a show or two, but I'm super excited to see Sasha's take. But what I'm most especially excited for is that she's showing up in the Flash film, so what could this mean? Well, in the article they say that she is going to be playing a feature role as the new Supergirl, so that means she's going to be playing a big part in this new Flashpoint film because apparently it is Flashpoint, there's lots of time travel and stuff, and so I think because of the success of the Arrowverse and Supergirl and the Flash, they wanted to do this because Flashpoint basically gives them the option to bring in so many different heroes, like Michael Keaton's Batman is coming in, and you're going to have like a bunch of different cameos, possibly even Grant Gustin is going to be showing up in this film, so the door is completely wide open for opportunities, because Flash Time as a story just invites so many new things and so many new exciting things that they can do, and I think this is one of the coolest things that they could have done, so I'm super excited for it, and I think that the storyline is definitely going to revolve around her and the Flash, and I don't know if they're going to be like really close, or if she's going to be on the same Earth, or if she's going to be a Supergirl from another Earth. And I think a lot of people are going to be asking, oh, because Supergirl has been introduced to this film, are we going to see it linked to Man of Steel? Obviously, that is a big theory online for DCEU fans, because so many people want to see a Man of Steel 2. And so maybe you might see like a cameo from Henry Cavill's Superman. However, I'm not going to say that that's very likely, because it doesn't seem like they want to move forward with Henry Cavill's Superman even though he's going to be in the Snyder Cut and stuff. But I think the most exciting thing about this, apart from her showing up in the film, in the Flash film, you have her actually potentially get in her own film, because this is like a jumping point for her. She's going to be introduced to the DCEU. If fans like her, if there's a really good reception, she's totally going to get her own film, and I would love for that. I've been waiting for a Supergirl film. There's been a Supergirl film in development for a while, people were saying that maybe Reed Moreno was going to be involved with it, who is a pretty good director, and I have been waiting for this film because obviously I'm a huge fan of the TV show, and I just love Melissa, and she's always going to be my Supergirl, but I would love to see Supergirl adapted in a different way, and you know, I think the way they've done The Flash hasn't been the best because The Flash was like the worst part of Justice League. I don't think Ezra Miller is that good of a Flash. But considering, you know, the whole story of Flashpoint and everything, there's so many different players. I'm super excited for it because the Flash is like literally my favorite superhero. And then Supergirl is my second favorite superhero. So them joining forces, but them having so many different people like Michael Keaton's Batman's confirmed. Ben Affleck's Batman is apparently coming back for like a cameo. So there's so many different things that Flashpoint offers. And I think, like I said, and I have to reiterate this, this is super exciting because Supergirl is probably going to get her own film off of this. And so I'm really happy that they got a Supergirl finally in and especially happy that it's in a Flash film because it definitely suits the character. Also, I think this is a really good sign because they cast a relatively unknown actor in a major role that is definitely going to play a big part in the DCEU's future. So it's just really exciting to see that they are fully going ahead with this and let the theories run wild as to like what role is she going to play? Like, is she going to be from another Earth? What version of Supergirl? Is it going to be similar to Melissa's Supergirl on the show? Or is it going to be something completely new? Is it going to be more like the comics? Although that is very close to Melissa's Supergirl. And is she going to dye her hair blonde? Which I'm pretty sure she is because that's heavily associated with the role. Obviously, there's still the chance that they don't. Like, for instance, Grant Gustin's Flash, he has brown hair. Grant has brown hair. He didn't dye his hair blonde, even though in the comics, Barry Allen normally has blonde hair. So there is precedent for that, and I wouldn't be opposed to that. I think I would actually like that more than her going blonde, because it's something new, and this is very exciting. And again, it puts that gap between her and the TV show. And what I would love to see is Melissa meet with the DCEU Supergirl, obviously played by Sasha, that would be the best thing. So when they do the Supergirl film, imagine that Supergirl, Melissa, returns and shows up in the film. I think that would be perfect. So I'm really excited about all of this. Hopefully you guys are. Let me know down in the comments down below. What do you think about all of this?
But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos as we head towards the Flash film. And obviously on this channel, we heavily cover the Flash and Supergirl, so it's like perfect for us. So yeah, super hyped. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.